Problem 11.56, we have a person doing a long jump, and in order to uh, compensate for the forward rotation of the body that would occur, uh, evidently one rotates one's arms to try and uh, to you know create uh, an angular uh, a change in the angular momentum that counteracts that. And so we're given some information about in a certain amount of time, one arm goes through a half a revolution and the other through one revolution in opposite directions. And we're supposed to treat each one as a four kilogram mass, uh, a thin rod of four kilograms in mass and a length of 0.6 meters rotating about its end. And in the center, of, uh, in the reference frame of the jumper, we want to find out what the angular momentum total of the arms it would have, would be. So to begin with, to find the uh, uh, need need to find the angular speeds of either arm. So the one that makes half a revolution. We just convert revolutions into radians. A revolution is moving around a circle once. In radians, that's 2 pi. Divide by the 0.7 seconds. And so this is 4.49 radians per second. And in a similar way, we find that omega 2 is equal to 8.98 radians per second and this makes sense because this is twice this and it's moving twice as many revolutions uh, in the same amount of time so everything's making sense so far now the angular momentum of either arm this is going to be its moment of inertia which is the same for both times its angular speed and uh using the fact that uh, well that we know already the um, the angular momentum uh, or not no, sorry the moment of inertia of a thin rod rotating around its end we can evaluate this just put in the numbers for these and we get 6.46 kilogram meters squared per second. Now knowing that omega 2 is just twice omega 1, we can save ourselves a little bit of trouble and just multiply this by 2. You can also, if you like, you know, work through the entire thing again uh, if for no other reason than to check that, you know, something hasn't gone horribly wrong. But in any event, we have these two angular momenta. And now the total is going to be the sum of those. Now, because one arm is rotating in one direction and the other is rotating in the other, we want, uh, they need to be subtracted from each other because in the reference frame of the jumper, they're, you know, they're moving in opposite directions. And so they have angular momenta that are oriented in opposite directions. So the total angular momentum is going to be 6.46 kilogram meters squared per second. 